Hello, you're very welcome. In this example, we're going to look at how we can use the LangGuardian File Activity Monitor to search for particular files on our network. So to access this search function, we go navigate here to the left-hand menu, and we go to the User Reports category, and we click on the Microsoft File Share Access Reports. In here, what we want to do is we want to do the user search by file name. And for my first example here, I want to do a search for any MP3 files. And always remember when you're searching for extensions, just to end with a dollar, which means search for files ending in .mp3. And we'll also do a search here for, let's say, AVIs on the network, some new, uh, videos. And let's also do a search for um, .w. WMF, lowercase, dollar. Okay, so we're going to do a search here for MP3s, some AVIs, and some Windows media files. And you can continue this little style here, there's no restriction on that. So we're going to do a search here for the last 24 hours. Okay, looks like we have some activity on this network. This is the server where the files are hosted. This is the share name within that server, and this is the folder file structure within that share. Just with the server column here, if a user was to share a folder on their local machine and other users were accessing that, we could also detect that because we're passively listening for this activity. So, whereas the server in most cases will be your main file sharing servers, if you do find other machines in here like clients, or maybe an IP address that you don't associate with your server VLAN, it's definitely worth investigating. But the server here is the one that's hosting the file. Okay, well, who's been sharing out these MP3 files? We just click on the total here. And we find out a user in finance has been sharing these. So I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to save this report because it's a useful report to have. I'm going to go to Remember Filters. I'm going to put in here network audit, media files, I'm going to save that. Other ways our customers are using this is to search for particular application use on the network. So we're going to go to file share access here. I'm going to do user search by file name. And recently one of our customers asked us to find out was there any AutoCAD drawings being shared on the network. So very easy to do that. .wdg, w, .dwg, sorry. It's typically associated with AutoCAD. So we're going to do a search for any files ending in that. So in my case, I don't have any activity. Still going to remember the filters here. I think it's a useful report. Network audit. I'm going to call this AutoCAD. Save that. Okay, and the last example I'm going to show you here is that, again, we go to the File Share Access category. I'm going to do user search by file name. I'm going to do a search in here for .doc. .r .xls or .ppt or .mdb there and in that with a dollar as well okay by the way a useful uh, search you can do as well if you're thinking of migrating away from Microsoft Access maybe into something like SQL or Oracle or one of those you can do a search on the network for anybody using that MDB file so anybody accessing a access database over the network if you wanted to check for that type of activity you could do a search for the MDB um, extension alone. Here I'm going to do a search for any Microsoft Office documents that have been shared in the network. Now in your case you probably have a lot of this activity and you might want to be more specific with the file names in here. For just the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to do a search for any Office document activity. So I'm going to run this report. Okay so I've got a number of Office documents here being moved around the network in the last couple of hours. So again I'm going to save this report.
I'm going to call it network orders. Office documents. And save that. So what you'll end up with here is on your customized reports, you will have a range of network audit type reports to suit your environment, whether it be office documents, media file sharing, or maybe particular applications like AutoCAD. And you can easily find out then who's been accessing those files. So that's it for this uh, simple introduction to doing network audits by using our file share activity monitor. Thanks for tuning in.